demand for high capacity combines is ever increasing. For the farmer or contractor with a large acreage, for the farmer with an increasing acreage, or for the farmer who wishes to have a reserve of capacity, it is the machine which maintains this high capacity under all conditions which will obviously be his choice. Ability to handle laid crops, stability on hilly ground, anti-bogging in wet conditions, driver comfort and ease of maintenance are special features of the 902. The ability to handle laid crops is one of the most essential features. Its low center of gravity, wide wheelbase and equal distribution of weight gives it a stability which is second to none. Ample power is provided by a Ford Thames Trader diesel engine. With the combine's high output and its wide range of speed, full advantage can be taken of all good crop conditions. Its operation is not confined to man alone, for grace and elegance can also take control. In Bali, these two machines achieved a total output of 13 and a half tons per hour. All controls are grouped within easy reach of the operator. Beneath the steering wheel is the ground speed control lever. Extremely light steering and the firm grip of the large tires together with the sharp lock of the rear wheels gives ease in handling and perfect control. The engine has ample access for maintenance. It is fitted with a mechanical governor which gives instant response to varying loads. The drive to the gearbox incorporates the transmission clutch. It is hydraulically controlled and gives an infinitely variable ground speed which can be varied from half a mile an hour to 11 and a quarter miles per hour in forward gear and from one and a quarter to three and a half miles per hour in reverse gear. To enable the driver to take full advantage of this infinitely variable speed, a ground speed indicator is fitted. By making reference to this indicator, fine and accurate speed adjustments can be made. By the movement of a hand lever, the complete thrashing mechanism is put into action. To drive the drum, a heavy-duty roller chain is used in preference to a belt, so that under heavy loads, the risk of losing drum speed due to belt slip is avoided. Driving belts and chains are accessible and easy to replace. There are two levers on the left-hand side of the operator, one for grain tank unloading the other for the feed table and cutter bark. A single movement brings all mechanism in front of the drum to an immediate stop and is a valuable asset, particularly when working on stony ground. Table lift is controlled hydraulically. It can be lowered at two rates, either inching or rapidly, depending on the extent to which the control lever is moved. The ram is so designed that it does not interfere with the balance of the table but gives it a floating action when cutting close to the ground. The reel is operated independently and can also be lowered with an inching or a rapid movement. Fine adjustment can therefore be made in the minimum amount of time. Daily greasing time has been reduced to 20 minutes by the generous use of 70 sealed ball bearings. They need no greasing whatsoever. Slip clutches are fitted at vital points. Grain elevator and tailings elevator, knife drive, feed auger, and pickup reel. The simplicity of this concave setting enables the user to make rapid adjustments as crop conditions vary throughout the day. For special crops, individual adjustment of front and back clearances is incorporated. 
ample access is provided on both elevators and augers. The tailings elevator can discharge either to the drum or onto the shakers. To cope with the large output, a bucket elevator is used to feed the grain to the 50 bushel storage tank. The discharge auger, which empties the tank, folds back for transport. But before seeing these machines in action, let us add to our knowledge by paying a visit to the assembly line. First, the Thames Trader diesel engine. It develops 62 horsepower with a working speed of 2,150 RPM. Dressing fan case and auger troughs follow and the drum and concave are lowered into position. The drum and concave assembly forms the thrashing unit of the combine. It must be strong and efficient. Strong to withstand the tremendous loads imposed upon it and efficient in order to reduce to an absolute minimum the amount of grain passed on to the shakers. The drum is accurately balanced and fitted with heavy duty bearings. It is of heavy conslaceable. The concave is solidly constructed of the open grate type with 10 bars. An open type tow plate delivers the straw to the rear beater, giving maximum separation before the straw reaches the shakers. The large capacity dressing shoe is specially fitted with dividers and deflectors to minimize the losses when working on sidling ground. The four shakers are mounted on two crankshafts, which are fitted throughout with sealed ball bearings. The shakers are 10 feet long with seven-eighths of an inch spaces between splines. Two sets of adjustable coxcombs enable the efficiency of the shakers to be maintained when working on hilly ground. There is free access at the end of each shaker for cleaning. Meanwhile, on the sub-assembly production line, a feed table with feed elevator has been completed. A choice of a 10-foot or 12-foot width of cut is available. The six-bat pickup reel is fitted as standard equipment. Although all stages of assembly are fully inspected during production, further inspection and running tests are carried out before the machines are dispatched. At the same time, comprehensive stocks of spares are produced, while a 24-hour, seven-day dispatch service is maintained during the harvest. In addition to this, our dealers carry adequate stocks of spares and offer a very efficient service at all times. In the Royston area, on the borders of Cambridge and Hertfordshire, a 902 is busy in a clean standing crop of wheat, grown under contract for a seed merchant. This is the 12 foot cut machine. Large tires, 13 by 28 for unequaled traction. Valuable minutes are saved in a day's work due to its manoeuvrability on corners. In wide open spaces, the 902 gives a good account of itself. Its steady pace makes full use of every available hour of sunshine. The easy control of the machine enables the driver to concentrate on the work ahead as it takes a tangled crop of oats in its stride. The feed table clutch, which makes it possible to stop everything in front of the drum, is supplemented by a stone trap. 
These are great advantages on ground like this. Two minds, but with a single thought. Intent on the job in hand, these 902s are doing more work in less time than their predecessors. As they say in Yorkshire, there's a lot of country out of doors, and these high-capacity combines, each averaging three acres an hour, are the right tools for the job. As a straw spreader, what better value for money than this model? Do not contact your dealer for further information. For windrow work, a pickup attachment is essential. Having a choice of four different speeds makes it possible for the 902 to operate effectively over a wide range of ground speeds. From peas to runner beans. Again, a clean pickup gives the user the satisfaction of knowing that all the seed is in the tank and none is left behind. The sample is approved by a skeptic. Fast, effective cutting in field beans presents no problem. But wild oats are another story. Low cutting is essential in this crop in order to leave a clean field and the 902's ability to cut close to the ground is being used to good purpose. This farmer wished to bag his beans and the fact that a tanker model was being used presented no difficulty. The high speed at which the field was combined was not detrimental to the sample. Among the crops less frequently grown and harvested is rape, and this is matador number two, grown for its very high oil content. This particular crop, with a yield of 21 and a half hundred weights to the acre, was cut with a 10-foot mower, and with the use of swath boards, was reduced to a width of seven feet. By nature, the crop is stiff and bushy, and the height to which this had grown made the operation of mowing and swathing anything but simple. In comparison, the process of harvesting and thrashing was easy, and the sample was excellent. The growing and harvesting of grass seeds is confined mainly to the south of England, but much further north a disused airfield has been put to good purpose. Coxfoot seed matures irregularly, and if it is left standing until all the seed is fit, then shedding will cause serious losses. If dealt with as a standing crop, combining must commence at the first sign of ripened seed. With a low drum speed for gentle thrashing, only matured seed is removed and the swath is combined again later with a pickup attachment. Three 10-foot 902s work as a team. In another part of the country, where the operator must have confidence in the stability of his machine, slopes of one in three are common. On this farm, perennial rye grass is grown. The crop is not entirely free from weeds, in spite of spraying, but this sample is clean and has made all efforts well worthwhile.
This crop, cut with a five-foot mower using two swath boards, is a three-year lay of rye grass and wild white clover. It is surplus to stock requirements and contains a worthwhile amount of clover. For picking up seed crops from the swath or windrow, there is no better device than the draper type of pickup. An endless belt to which spring tines are attached ensures that the minimum amount of seed falls back to the ground. With a floating action which is independent of the feed table, irregularities in ground level can be followed closely. The pickup is inclined at an angle sufficient to allow the feed table crop dividers to ride above the swath. Everything in the sack is the policy in this crop, and to convert the tanker model for this purpose, an ingenious and practical bagging attachment has been devised by the user. On a neighbouring farm, a similar crop is being combined. Two windrows have been turned into one, and the tank itself is being used for storage. The 902 Combine Harvester is the result of much research, bringing together all that is best in modern combine design and embodying many exceptional features developed by Ransoms during their years of thresher experience. It is of British design to deal with British conditions. Its high output, its ability to handle laid crops and its stability on hilly ground are features which have been acknowledged by users everywhere. So throughout each harvest, in fair weather or foul, you can rely on ransoms to bring in your crops with the knowledge that the work will be well and truly done. <laughs>